Hello everyone, this is Diane. Are you all ready for our weekend collage today? We are on week 41. Woohoo, we're getting there. Um, so the props for today are a tool. I am going to skip that one and use the bonus. Next is a doll or a toy. And of course I got into my children's book pages. So I have this from the little engine that could and that is a whole train full of toys. <clears throat> I could use either one of those. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's a doll, a couple of dolls from a Christmas craft book. There's a toy rocking horse. There's a child and a bunch of toys. I've got lots of toys. A little boy with a ball on a wagon. I don't really want to use this one though because it's a nice folio page that I could put into a junk journal. I'm just going to set that aside. I thought the, this was a little too small. It's a little girl holding her doll out, but I think that would be too small for this collage. And there's a doll in a cradle, but again, these are that's a folio page. Um, so I'll, I'll, I've got a lot to choose from there. Uh, next is something cold. While I was looking for the doll, I found this page with igloos and snow. Um, a playing card either side so you could use a decorative side or the number side and I thought maybe I'd use one of these funky shaped ones today. Sheet music, I've got some choices here and the bonus is a security envelope design. So first things first, I believe that the focal point will be the toy or doll and it will have the igloo in it. That was the only cold thing I found. So. Well, let's just go ahead and cut this igloo out. Since we know we're going to use that. I don't know if I want the snow background, but I might as well leave it in there for now. I'd like to have just the igloo without the man in front of it, but can't use the whole background. So I'm going to cut this, and that way I can cut that. I'll probably end up just cutting the snow background out of it. But there we have that. So let's find something that will kind of complement that. I'm thinking one of those white dolls might work. I do love this rocking horse. I'm going to try something here. No, I don't want to. I don't want to have the child in there with the toy. So that will eliminate some of these. What about the train with the igloo? The train could be bringing toys to the people of the igloos. But I'm leaning toward one of these dolls. We're having a good and rainy day today. Very soggy. It was pouring very heavily. I don't know if it's still raining. If it is, it's not raining as hard. Not nearly as hard.
and that should bring our temperatures back down to October level. You were up in the 80s this week. Yeah, I'm going to cut the background out. It would be cool if I could just have her leaning on it. Unfortunately, I cut off the roof part of the big one. I don't know where that scrap went even. fits on there. I didn't need to cut it off. Maybe something like that. Let's find our other pieces. We have a playing card. piece of policy envelope. I don't know what shape I want it to be yet. And some sheet music. try something just for fun. This is the business envelope. size paper punch this is.
I think we'll just put some little little circles of those two pieces on there. And call it good. I like the straw paper, so it's nice to let the straw paper show. Get my glues over here. I'm going to start by gluing down the card I'm just gonna mark where I want that then the doll but I need to make sure she's lined up properly with this so I'm gonna just put a little washi tape on the back of this to hold those two pieces together I was just taking a part of uh, this Better Homes and Gardens Christmas craft book last night. And then when I went to get out these prompt pieces and I saw the doll, I thought, oh, I bet I have some from those pages that I took out of that craft book. It would be fun if I could have her leaning on it with both hands, but she'd be too far over. She needs to be more in the center. So she has one hand on that igloo. Put her down a little bit low. But I'm not moving her. scatter some circles around. Okay, so I guess that's it. That was kind of fun. 
some fun elements pulled together there. I already got this all set. October 16th. There we go. We used not a tool, but a doll, something cold, a playing card, some sheet music, and security envelope. And now, I guess the book I'm going to work in today will be my art journal, but it's a gluing art journal. It's this one. I started this when I had my staycation, and I haven't done anything with it since. So, um, this was what I had done to, when I first put this book together, just before my husband passed away, and then I put the book away and didn't do anything with it. So, starting here, this is what I just did in September, and I used the quote, it's time to move forward, and then heartbeat. And then over here, going along with the moving forward thing, what will the new you say to the old you? And I chose this quote to continue that idea, live well every day. That's what the new, you, new me would say to the old me, live well every day. I'll cut that out later. So I don't know which image I want to use. I found this one with the lady taking a picture. I used to take pictures all the time and I don't anymore. Very rarely do I take pictures. But even if I don't take pictures again, um, that would represent documenting memories. And if I'm living well every day, I would want to document my memories. So I think that would be a good one. And then I like her, too, because she's just uh, dazzling. <laughs> and that's a good way to live well every day. To just do yourself up. <laughs> I like her. And this one looks like she's living well. But I think I'm going to go with the photographer as I laid it down here together with this. I really liked it. So I'm going to trim her a little closer. I'll have to find background. background before we go any further. If I have time, maybe I'll show you about my organization for my images because I, I know I've showed it before, but I have shown it before, but someone asked me recently how I sort my stuff and if I have time, maybe I'll show you that today. But this basket here has background pieces, and it's a pretty deep basket for just having a few pieces of magazine paper in the bottom, but I have other mag uh, baskets that stack into it. This looks very colorful to go with those colorful letters.
can't see her very well she blends in there but I really like that background but it has to work with everything not just the letters a little better. I don't mind if the blue jeans blend in. Just want to be able to see her. Or oh, there's this. That would go well with the letters too. Okay, let's see what we have. Pick something out. Well, I'm not even going to look any further. I think it has to be that, and I may need to fill in with something else, too. I did finish the Christmas sweets journals that I'm making that I made with um, printed fabrics, and I I videoed them and photographed them. I need to list them, so I'm going to tell you right now that they will probably be in my shop on Monday, the day after you see this video. No, I'm not going to supplement that. I like the white border around it. And I might not even cut these words apart like I normally do. Let's just try them all together. This is similar to what I do in my little blue book with the background and then images and a quote. And I use the Stabilo All Pencil for black and um, the Signo white pen. But I usually add other things to this, like um, flowers, like I did here. This one has some flowers in this image from a decorating magazine. Sometimes I add jewelry onto the image, like put her inside a giant ring or something or put a ring on her head she has a hat on her head so I'm going to leave her head alone I wish this blue wasn't in the background of those letters but it is what it is okay I think it would look better if I cut the words apart Kind of overlapped though. Maybe it would have been better to leave them together. scissors go. I should be using my little ones. There they are. This way I can cut out some more of that dark blue in behind them. Okay, now I think I'm going to add some flowers. So I've got 
got some flowers here. Look at this big one. There's one of my little baskets and it has all flowers. A lot of them are cut from a giant rose book that I got at the library for a dollar. And I've had it for several years. I still have lots of images. Some of them are still in the book, not cut out. Figured I didn't need to cut them all out at once. I want something down in this corner. Just looking for the right size and the right color. That one's cute. And I think one more up here. Can you see me? I'm sorry. I don't know how much fun it is for you to watch me cut out a flower, but it's really not fun to just sit there and look at a table that's not doing anything. Maybe you're collaging while I'm collaging. I'd like to know if you are. And if you are, what are you collaging? Or what other craft are you doing? I wonder if people are getting tired of the um, of this prompted collage challenge that many people are doing and making videos of every week. My uh, view viewing of each video started out pretty high at the beginning of the year, but I don't get a lot of views on these videos anymore. But I get some comments from some of you that you look forward to this every Sunday and I really appreciate hearing that. That helps motivate me to keep going. I mean, I want to do it for myself. I enjoy doing these and I want to finish my book. And we're on the home stretch now, but it does also help motivate me to keep going in it when I know that you guys enjoy watching. So thank you for those comments. I don't know how some people can do so many challenges every week. One is enough for me. There's so many different challenges to choose from and some people do several every week. And I say good for them, but I'm not gonna. Okay, well that looks like a nice, bright, cheery page. So, I am going to start by doing a little bit of a trim around that flower. Am I going to have time to finish this? Oh yes, I will. I think. I'm not trying to cut around each and every flower petal, but just kind of wiggling my piece and letting the scissors do their work. 
kind of following the pattern of what's there, but not super closely. So we have to glue this down first, don't we? That would have been a fun collage page to put something in the center with all those rulers. Too late now. I don't know if you can tell, but this isn't just a solid green. There are some tiny little colored dots in there. I should have taken this, well, I can. Let's just do that. Take the page right out of the book. Sorry for bumping the camera. Everything else can be done with a glue stick because they are all just thin magazine pages. Okay, so I'm going to put this corner of the flower pretty even with that bottom. Cool. Yeah, it's still raining. I can hear the pitter pat. Gotta do some more flowers before I glue her down though. I like having the flower come out on this side of her hat so it's not just all over here. Just a little bit, but you can see it there. I'll put this one down in the corner. Everything else is within the framework of the green page, except for this little flower. This one escaped. I think that makes a little more interest. Now, do I just want the pink or do I want both? cute with the leaf sticking over her shoulder like that. So I won't glue the leaf down yet. I put glue on it but I'm not going to press it down. that leaf glue on the leaf dries. I guess her feet are coming, her legs extend below the frame too because she doesn't have feet. So I wanted to put her down to the bottom of the page.
since I cut so much out of that L, I think this will look better if I cut that out. Oops, don't tear it. Cut that out of the V. doing a pretty messy job cutting these things out today. My grandson went to a camp about two and a half hours away from here, Christian camp, for a youth rally today. And even though it's two and a half hours away, it's in New York, they're having rain too because it's a wide swath of rain that's hitting this area pretty much for the whole day. But I guess they had a rain contingency, so they have things to do. Can't wait to hear how he enjoyed his day. He doesn't get to socialize much because he's on um, charter school. We don't have a lot of youth at our church. Yeah, I'm glad I cut the letters apart. It looks better all spread out like that. Okay, now let's finish what we do here. If we have time. I am going to outline the letters with my Stabilo All Pencil. I'll show it to you again. I think I show it to you every time. Um, if you can see it. And I get mine from Amazon. It's the only place I could find them. Stabilo All Pencil. And it's a water-soluble pencil. And I believe it only comes in black. It might come in white, but it doesn't come in other colors, at least not that I have found. And I know a couple of you have gotten some of these pencils since I started doing these videos. So I hope you're enjoying them. Oops. I think that lead wants to come out. I must have sharpened it too much. I could have just cut that period off. Didn't need to leave that on there. I'm just outlining the page, the letters, the flowers, and I will probably outline her. And then I will use my water brush to um, blend, uh, what do you want to say, smear it. <laughs> so it's not such a harsh line.
This is a water barrel brush. It just has water in the barrel. You could put ink in there if you wanted to do something with color with a brush like this. Um, some of the brands, oh this is Jane Davenport. I think I got this one on sale when all the Jane da Davenport stuff was on sale at Michael's. But you can get them in just the regular art supply department at Hobby Lobby a pack of two or three or something like that. You could probably get them at Amazon. Or you can just use a brush and water. Just a regular paintbrush. But I like this because you don't have to keep re-wetting the brush. You can just go. I don't think I'll have time to talk about the organization of my images today. I don't usually do much more than 45 minutes because sometimes my camera shuts off, sometimes it doesn't, but I try to keep it to about there. And I'm not trying to be neat. kind of jumping around. When when I'm doing it on a magazine image, like this big yellow flower is from a magazine, so it's glossy, um, the pigment just kind of beads up, but that's okay. I just do the best I can. Okay, and then the other thing I do is take my Sig Signo Uniball white pen. It's got like paint in it. And firstly, I have to get the paint primed coming out. And there it is. So I'm going to just go around anything that I think needs some highlights just for fun. The dots just add some fun. So I'm doing the band of her hat and then I'll just do right under the brim too where it's nice and dark. Um, I can do the rim of her camera lens. And maybe inside that. Mm, I'll do her pant legs. boots. Maybe this pink flower.
just kind of follow the petals. I'm highlighting the word every for two reasons. The white will show up nicely on the blue, but also it's an important word. I could have accented well to live well every day, but I'm accenting every, live well every day. stop coming out. There we go. I could do the camera strap, but I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to call it good. So there's that collage. that goes in here. I'll leave the book open to make sure all of that paint and stuff dries. And here's the other one we did today. That's fun. So I hope you were collaging with me. Let me know if you were or doing another craft. And I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.